Hello friends, it is me back again with another, hopefully a roguelike deck builder. This is off of the DVS deck builder bundle from Humble, Humble Bundle um, out this month right now, um, April. Um, this one's called Gordian Quest. No idea what it's about. So as always, let's figure out what we're doing. 15 to 30 hours for a campaign mode? Okay, well let's, uh, I guess let's figure out what the game is all about. Act 1, Westmire. Okay, so we get, I get to pick who I want to play as. Okay, and then we can recruit others as we go. We've got Lucius, a sword hand, Ida, a druid, Catherine, a cleric, Naran, a bard, Bertram, a ranger, Kudo, a warlock, Alphonse, a scoundrel, Jindea, a golemancer, so basically she has a golem, uh, Pierre, a spellbinder, and Stroud, a monk. Complexity is a two star. So the, wow, she's got a three-star, three-star, three-star. We're going to start with one of the easier ones, I think. And then I might hop in and see how it goes. Because I would love to try the Warlock and the Golem Mancer. So you apply Bleed. And then I guess you... Um... Oh, these are... They each have their own specializations as well. Okay, so Blood Mage does not remove bleed, so it applies bleed. So he is a bleed specialist. That's what Warlock is for. Okay. Gollum Mancer. Um, Gain six guard, Rocky. So he ha she has a pet, which is a Gollum, obviously. Earth Mage. Doesn't come with a golem, but she can use different stuff. Golem Master does get a golem. Rocky Duo, Cohesion, Reorient. Artificer also comes with one. Uh, that's the. Oh, wow. She gets a lot of cards for Rocky, too, for a golem. Uh, monk. You get regular Monk. Get your basic stuff, agility bonuses, and hand to hand combat. Martial Artists. Combination strikes using combinations. Okay, enlightened warriors, more like a mage monk. Exotic warriors are also kind of like a mage monk. So enlightened warriors more like a healing monk, it looks like. A whole bunch of guard, wow. Yeah, and then exotic does a lot of uh, range. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go with the regular sword hand. Regular sword hand, we're going to go with, um, ooh, Duelist. Delay damage, gain 12 criticals. So Duelist does a lot of criticals um, and thorns with parry. Veterans get quick draws. Weapon throw gets you fury. Tactician, shift one, then attack 12 damage. Gain white might after dealing damage. Attack of opportunity. Oh, Tactician's not that bad. Shift one to self and all allies gain one retain. Passive gain six critical when you move a cell. So it's basically a lot about movement and placement. Duelist is a lot about critical and uh, thorns. Sword hand is your basic. Uh, gain one might, grant one might to adjacent enemies, apply bleed. Veteran has just a lot of versatility and bleed. I'm gonna go with Tactician though. Tactician seems like it might be the best option. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go normal. Uh, if your entire party is defeated in battle, your run ends roguelike mode. Heroes cannot be resurrected, sanctuary upon death. If your entire party is defeated, your run ends standard mode. Revive in town upon being defeated. Okay, so it's not a roguelike. 
To help you master the basic combat rules, your first battle will be a quick guided tutorial. During the sequence, only your first hero will be used. All right. Then we will use the tutorial that we're given. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. You there, you're with the soldiers came from the south. With me, the undead ahead looks like nasty ones. We'll push through this group and regroup with Captain Roderick and his men in the garrison. If you're handy with that weapon of yours, now would be a good time to use it. All right. Pommel strike. Let's grant you pommel strike. Give me a guard. Your basic um, three energy move set, okay. I wanted to gain that one over there. Hmm. Nice one, I just admit I took you for an amateur, but now we might survive this one just yet. By my side, let's take them down together. So you shifted back. I wanted to give him vulnerable. Alright, so now I can shift, and it uses a move, because I can move back here now. Okay, triggers are discarded after one use, but can be drawn again from the deck, and now finish off this battle. Shift one, then attack for 12 damage. Gain one might after dealing damage. Ugh. Well fought. Let's get a move on before more of them come. The garrison is just up ahead. All right. Oh, Jade Amulet. Renown and some gold. Trouble in Westmere. Meyer. Meyer. Ma'am? Okay. <sighs> Welcome to the garrison. It isn't much, but we'll have to do on such short notice. Where are my manners? I'm Officer Aaron of the Town's Guard, which we had met under better circumstances, naturally. This here is our guild hall. We've converted into a house of survivors like yourself, so make yourself at home. In the meantime, you should speak with Captain Roderick. He's in charge around here. That makes that Captain Roderick. That's somebody. That's a guard. Gravedigger? Ah. <sighs> At ease, Officer Aaron. And greetings, traveler. Your arrival to our fair city couldn't have come at a worse time. The undead curse that lies on this land has been thrown in our side for centuries, but an attack of this magnitude unheard of. Foul magic has disabled the waypoints as well. Smells like the work of enemy action, if you ask me. Indeed, Officer. Anyway, Captain Roderick's the name. I'm in charge of this garrison. We've already evacuated the civilians to high home before the incident with the waypoint. So let's. So it's just battle essential personnel here. The situation's dire. We've got our hands full tending to the injured, so I urge you to help my men push back the undead in the immediate area. The dead outnumber us three to one out there. My most pressing concern now is the garrison storehouse up north. It's been overtaken by local gangs, but if you can wrestle control back from them, it would greatly help the defense effort. Leave it to us, sir. We've got a good feeling about this one. Godspeed and keep your wits about you out there. Uh -huh. Before we leave, let's see if we can create help from the guild hall. Things will go a lot smoother with another pair of hands. Oh. Sister Ophelia? Oh. By the light, you look like you've seen better days. I will do what I can to heal your wounds, but anything beyond that? Well, resource restraint at the moment as we fend off the undead. Please do what you can to protect the innocents here. If necessary, return to the sanctuary for further healing. Light guide you, traveler. I don't need any of that. Okay. All right. Gain a new party member. The guild hall is wild and wide and airy, originally designed to accommodate crowds of the town's festivities. Now it is temporary refuge for southern faced adventurers nursing all manners of injuries. Most shirk away as you approach, unwilling to head back. You're about to write off... What? You're about to write off finding a hire when you run into a fellow adventurer. Oh, okay, so I get to pick. Oh, man. I don't... So I get to pick who I want. Catherine is a cleric. She 
is obviously a healer. I don't know if I want one just yet, though. These might be too... Deal 28 damage, gain 2 channel. Reduces the cost of channeled spells. Gain 1 channel. Chain forward. Chain repeats on adjacent targets. Commander. Improved ammo. Construct a sentry turret. Bard. Bard gets, I guess, some healing. Inspiration. That might be really cool to get when I get further people. I think I really, really kind of want to get her. pick her up, I get another... You leave the guild hall, new companion is in tow. Humble beginnings, but a beginning nonetheless. I'm a tactician. And then I get her on my side. Yeah. I'll also get another person along because I have her team shield. Yeah. Small health file. I know I got one dexterity. You can have a small health file. Um, let's see. The blacksmith. Uh, you look like you can use an upgrade. Requires 14, requires 12, requires 18. Okay. How much money do I have? I have 162 gold. So he can't use any of that. Because I guess he has to have uh, 14 might, 12 might, 18 might. Intelligence based challenges. Grants quick barrier plus two intelligence based challenges. Has two sockets, but you gain an eight guard. Uh, that. One guard with strength defense skills, one guard for dexterity defense skills. That's actually really good. Because um, you will use that. So, I don't, what weapon? She doesn't use any weapon. Uh, plus one melee attack damage. Deal eight damage to targets in two cells. Plus one melee attack. Yeah, I'll give her that. And I think I do want... Sash. And that one. That'll give her there. I do want that there. I think I want you to have the quick barrier, though. I think that might be good. Okay. So I take it I have to kind of go... What's happening right now? Points off limits. <sighs> Ready to head out? We'll have to loop around the garrison to get to the storehouse. Steady as we go. If things start getting too tough, we should head back to Sister Ophelia for healing. All right, so it looks like we're having to go that way. So we start here. Oh, ho, ho, okay. He strikes on his own. She doesn't. What is this? Meltdown. Okay, apply 14 burn, chain one. If targeting a rock, Rocky can destroy it with rock skill, applying its burn to adjacent enemies. Uh, inventive solution. Adjacent allies draw one. Okay, we're going to do that. some one of those right there. I can, in fact, though. Oh, I probably should have hit you. That's a five guard. Boom. Rocky Punch! Rocky Punch! Rocky Guard. My dog is named Rocky. 
All right, so we've got an opener. I do I definitely want to make sure that I get a couple of guard in there. I can shift if need be. Shift one to self and all allies gain one retain. No, not just yet. I want to kind of keep him in front. I'd like for the NPC to be gone, because I'd like to move her behind Rocky. Thank you for moving back. He does kind of jump up, which is really kind of good. gold. And I guess we can kind of go back whenever we want to in case we need to restock. It does have an initiative rollout, which is kind of cool. Okay, what do we got here? Create rock. Add a temp pulverize rake. Um, let's do that. Add a rock there. Toss an adjacent ally to the front row. All ally, <laughs> ally discards all attacks in hand. Deal 14 damage for every attack discarded. Oh, can I like see? Okay, so he's got just one, so that's not really going to help me at all. We're going to get rid of you first. Nine damage targets rock destroy and deal 17 damage to unit behind it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna grab a, a guard though. Pivoting slash. Uh, no, passive gain six critical when you move to a cell. I don't have any real good cell that I'd like to move to just yet. do that kill you out you're now in front I can there's a barrier move you around Well, I'm still trying to learn, you know. Wow, he gave himself a huge guard. What have we got? Meltdown. Grab you, Flurry. All right, I, I want that one. That one. I definitely want to try to move him over there. There we go. Oh, we got a quarter staff plus three spell attack damage. Um, I think, yeah, her cards are are there. Are they spell attack if they are? I think so. I think she has spell attack. Okay, so that doesn't help you. You, on the other hand, you didn't have a weapon. Super weird. Oh, synergy. Strategy and special skills that utilize synergy points. Okay. Obtain second and third synergy. Use and flesh swap out stuff. Oh, okay, so I don't really have anything. Just. No, I didn't want that. Oh, I can. Uh, draw one. Persist. Lose HP equal to the number of the negative status effects in itself. Purge all negative status 
effect usable only if not the first to act. Raise initiative by 13 for every remaining AP. That's a good one. What are you? I think I do want that one, though. Okay, we will just uh, run with what we've got. Oh, I've got journal. All right, so this one looks like it is a boss. Oh, wow, it's a three-pronged. I, I, I like that one. That one's good. What have we got? Okay, so I've got Create Rock, which can be good. Do you want that? Okay, so he can't hit there. Let's put you there. I can give half my guard there. Lucky, all right. I can use this to destroy that one. You're dead now. Oh, you've got 71 life. Mega Fist. I like that one. All right, so let's see. If I pivot around, first off, oh, I'm going to have to. Need to kind of move them down. Okay. That's her. She can go down there. Move back. I think tactician was a good way to go. Not enough SP to play this. What have I got? I do not need to, to do that. Alright. Ooh, I got a shield. One guard with strength to defense skills. Nice. You certainly got a knack for staying alive. The garrison should be a little safer now with your help. That leaves our main objective, the garrison storehouse. It's right up ahead through the streets. We had to barricade it off from the garrison when the bandits attacked. With luck, we'll be able to deal with them without too much trouble. Gain a skill point from leveling up. Spend it on your skill grid by clicking on the icon. The skill grid compromises of skill nodes. Hover on a node to view bonuses you can have. Unlocking a node costs one skill point. Nodes need to be connected to previous node to be unlocked, so plan your upgrade path appropriately. Okay, begin unlocking nodes starting from the center to the first block. More blocks can be unlocked after spending enough skill points. So much I have to do. Oh. Increase skill rank. Stat point. Learn a skill. When unlocked, you can swap in talents while camping in town. So I can unlock this node for a stat point. Okay. Okay, her on the other hand. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, intelligence based. Oh, we can actually change what they look like, too. That's pretty cool. All right. Actually, I wanted to look at... He needs 15 more strength just to use the tower shield. What do you have? 
You have 11. I don't know why her strength is more, but okay, whatever. Alright, splendid. Okay, okay. On the way to the storehouse, you pass three soldiers nursing an assortment of injuries. They advise caution when dealing with bandits. Front door's blockaded, and they'll have crossbows waiting for you if you get in there, one of them says. Okay, down the road, you're uh, scram unless you've got a death wish, she sneers before heading back inside. The front door doesn't bulge. When you push on it, it might give way with some force, but the earlier soldier's warning comes to mind. Uh, force the door. Pick one hero to attempt a mic check. Search for another point of energy. Pick one hero to attempt a perception check. You are now attempting a challenge, a test of skill and luck. Roll higher than the challenge difficulty to succeed. Rolling a 1, Skull is always failing. Rolling a 20, a Gordian Knot is always a success. Uh, we are going to use... I don't have a skill that uses perception, I don't think. Bonus modifier based on the challenge type. So we've got... Does he have a... Keen Sight will give a plus 7 roll modifier. Attack of Opportunity will give a plus 10, though. Okay, that really helped. Cannot be played, rest, or use consumables to remove this. Ah, okay, but by using a skill, it can't be used again until you rest. Lucius gained 220 XP. Uh, Yukina, I spot faint scruff marks on the far wall, likely made by steel-toed boots. On further inspection, you spot a very few good handholds and an uneven patch of wall, which you could use to climb up to the storehouse's roof. Officer Aaron assists you with a boost. Uh, triggers an encounter. Take out the two bandits watching the door. Take out the bandit leader in the back. Um, test of reflex. Pick one hero to attempt a reflex track check. Okay, so you're already there. Can I pick a skill from you? You're a five. You're a two. You're a five. You're a two. You're a four. How about you? You're a two. Four. You're a seven with Team Shield. That's going to give me a seven. Roll to succeed is a seven. All right. You close in on two remaining bandits. The battle is joined. Nice having that attack of opportunity there. Oh, but I don't have anything else to kind of go with it, which kind of sucks. Um, no, I'm good. I'll allow her to um, come over here. Okay, there's that. I'm going to grant you that. Rocky Punch means you die. Rocky Punch means you almost die, and so do you. The NPC is the only one that could be hurt. Oh, what is that? Quick Trap. Okay. But that works. Victory for us. Let's head back to the garrison. All right, your current location is entered. Okay. Hey, we've got some more renown. Excellent work out there, Officer Aaron. Head over with some of the resources to secure the area. By the way, Captain. 
Now, even as we speak, there are battles being waged on multiple fronts along the outer perimeter of the garrison. A few adventurers like yourself have been dispatched to two checkpoints to hold the line. My resources are stretched thin as it is. I'll need you to head out to support the defense effort. Make sure none of the undead break through. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Let's see what we got here. Uh, melee attack damage. Got some wands. Uh, guard with dexterity skills. Uh, intelligence. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. I want purchase. Two plus two melee. What do you have? You've got one melee, but you also get follow through. So you immediately, you get quick, you don't get quick barrier. But that's fine. I can deal with that. I'll give you quick barrier. Okay, what is she, she does not have any armor. I guess I can give her this. And a hat. She can't even use the hat. He can. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. And then I can go ahead and give that to her. I need definitely need some more strength for him. Okay. Triggers. Attached attacks apply four chill. Triggers once per turn. No. She needs something different. So why does this one have a shield on it, and this one does not? Grants follow through. Common blunt. Why is the more? Okay, I have common blunt. Two melee attack. Two melee attack. Dagger. Dagger. They're the same thing, but one has a dagger and one has a shield. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to move on. Let's go to Sister Ophelia. We don't really need that. Grid, which we have no issue for. We don't need that. All right, so, oh, you are, I don't know what you are. You are the, the, the ranger. I can't remember exactly what you are, and I can't even go there, because I have to go here first. All righty, I'm kind of digging it. I, I really am. It's not, it's, it's a nice sort of change of difference here. Okay, so I can move you down here. I'm going to use that one because she'll be a he'll be able to attack. Oh, I can't even hit. Okay, well, I can't hit him because this guy's in the front, it looks like. Shift one. You're now dead. Pommel strike. Deflect. I've still got this skeleton archer in the back. Uh. Ow! I'm definitely going to need to get, like, a, a healer, probably. Alright, so what have we got here? I've got you. I need to probably shift her out. First off, I'm going to beat you. Pop you over there. Move you over there. Rocky punch for the win. Well, not for the win, not just yet. Pivoting strike for the win. Okay, so she does not regain health. That's why they have this. Okay. I know I got a ring. All right, maybe this one will be... 10 enemies over 3 waves. 
eight enemies over two waves. Oh. Yeah, this is the cleric, so that's good. Reinforcements, that lasts. There's a big group of undead ahead that need dealing with. Brace yourselves. Okay, so I do have a couple of barricades here, which is really kind of good. Shift over to you. Can hit you. Pommel strike. Deflect. All right. So the cleric is not going to be very helpful here. Share my guard. I definitely need to get rid of the archers. in. No archers. Should be fine. Alright, so we're going to shift him over there. I'd like to move her there. He can stay. Uh, yeah, you can stay over there too. Catherine, I'm going to move her back. You're finished. Deflect. Deflect. That's not very nice. First off, Team Shield. two of his, so I've got the mega fin, um, actually I'm going to use just all the regular rocky punches. Because yeah, I'm not going to be able to get too much. Let's grab him a little bit there. Rather you heal my guy, please. That would be great. If you can, if you can heal my my golem, I would be very happy. Okay, so we've got a pivoting slash, which is very nice indeed. Keen strike. shift out. Shield rush and he's still really good about it. Okay, so what have we got? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of him. I'll put a rock over there to kind of help out. Quick barrier. can only do it to somebody in front. Okay. What have you got? What do you got? Okay, so I do have pulverize here. Which grants me that. Grant some more defense. Okay, Catherine, that was good, but I could have used a little bit healing. Oh, he's got regeneration. That sucks. Alright. Pivoting. You're out. Just gonna get rid of you. Alright, what have we got? Give me that. 
that. Definitely. Get some more rocky punches in there. I don't know if I should add the rock yet. No. I'll just do that. Very nicely done. Oh. The other end of the garrison may need aid as well. We should hurry over. So now I have... Oh, I probably should have clicked on what I wanted her to be. Splinter Bomb. Yeah, I'll give her that. That's fine. Righteous Blow. Channeled Spell. I want her to be, like, I don't know. A different cleric, maybe? Let's do this. Give her one of those. Does she have a, another skill point? You've unlocked a tier one talent socket. Uh, provide a flexible way to customize your build. Talents can be assigned at will as long as you are in a safe area. Uh, this tier one talent socket allows you to select talents from within this section, provided you meet the stat requirements. Okay, so. What have I got? If intelligence is higher than strength, add half your intelligence modifier to your strength modifier. That's pretty good. Calculated actions. Uh, staff proficiency, ardent mind. Start battles with two channel charges. Don't really need that. Um, you gain 20% more SP when playing cards in battle. Uh, anatomical knowledge. I don't really need a bleed. Curio attunement. Item cards gain plus one rank. Applies only to amulets. Uh, rings and belts. If the above equipment slots are filled up, gain the ball of the. Okay, that's cool. Wand proficiency, observant, intellectual. We've got self defense, quick reactions, acrobatic, one handed melee proficiency, uh, good health. That's pretty good. Raw strength, limit break. Fighting Spirit, plus one physical resist, recover one HP on kill. That's pretty good. Victory's Herald, restores four HP after surviving a battle. Recover 15% of your maximum HP when you complete an event. That's actually, actually, yeah, I want that one. Shield proficiency, but yeah, that one, that one seems needed. So how come it's not there? I don't, I don't know. Okay, and these kind of level up as you go along too. That's interesting. Okay, but we got a couple places to go to. Hey. Over here, the undead are about to break through. Two arms! We do actually have a, quite a bit of an amount of people here now. Bertram, not bad. Alright, so I cannot use that for some reason. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, Also not what I wanted, but that's fine. We'll deal with it like this. All right, I do have a create rock now. I'm gonna put you there. Quick barrier, deflect. Share my guard with Rocky. Don't necessarily want to pulverize the rock just yet. Okay, so I cannot do that. We're going to end 
Okay, gain four armor block. Was it debilitating bolt? We're gonna pop you up with enough of that. Honestly, the barricades are kind of the most difficult, really, to deal with. Not bad. Not bad at all. Follow through. Pommel strike will put you down. There you are. Turn there. Scalding Sands can do you. Let's get one of you up. Um, I think I kind of need to wait. At least for right now. Divine Hammer, Smite, Bless Strike. Okay, what is that? Gain one channel. I don't need to. I need to wait for them to, to move forward. Oh god, what is that? He is immovable. Takes 30% less damage. Pivoting slash, we're gonna kill that guy. Pivoting slash, we're gonna do more there. Burn him. Go ahead and create another rock. Because now. Hit there. Done and dusted. And then I could just load her up with some block we don't really need. And then we wait for the next guy to show around. He is a, a semi boss character just because he has more life. Why? Why would you use the quick trap? NPC piece of crap. All right. So we do have a good opener. We do have one of those. Got that right there. I want to shift you over there. End my turn. Okay. There's one of those. We're going to grab there. And you're dead. All right, now they're both level three. Hey. Not a moment too soon. Let's head back to update Captain Roderick. Okay, so our, actually, I think I do like Artillery Commander because it just sounds cool. Because you get a Sentry Turret. Construct Sentry Turret, effective against single targets. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Well, first off, of course I'm going to go and skill grid unlock this node here give her that one which I wanted to grab and same thing with you because it can't be taken by him okay uh, <laughs> on turn start gain guard equal to your dex modifier if there are no enemies in your lane this bonus is capped at 20 uh, on turn start gain critical equal to your dex modifier um, range weapon proficiency I don't need why is his intelligence so high? I know I have a plus two because of the sash, but that's about it. Um, I think I want just raw strength. Boom. That's it. And then she doesn't get anything just yet. Oh, I only get like, at least 10 supplies are required to set up camp. I don't have 10 supplies. Ugh. <sighs> 
With your skills and some luck, this threat may be surmountable yet. We need to start adventuring out to better prepare for our extended siege. A ragtag team yours may be, but you'll move faster and attract less attention. The resident artisans have managed to set up shop in the area and will need their expertise to give the soldiers a fighting chance. Hear them out and render assistance if needed. Perhaps we might all stand a chance to survive this. Okay, we got some more people. Hey. Uh, tiny requests if you aren't too busy, of course. The soldiers' equipment need fixing with the constant skirmishes, but the garrison's short on materials. If you could help out in securing my old forge and its stockpile, I'd be better equipped to help the defense suffer. In the meantime, you look like you'd use upgrade yourself. I don't have much, but it'll keep us alive at least. Um, okay. I can get another party member. One of them recognized you from a foreign poach is keen to be a part of your party. Who is it? There's the druid, the spellbinder. Um, I think I want the bard, right? Rhythm of spirit. Target alley gains one channel, gain one inspiration. A troubadour. Apply four vulnerable to an enemy. For every inspiration, allies gain six critical, allies gain channel, again, all against. Okay, that's interesting. All allies gain seven critical. They gain different types of critical for bard. I want one that actually heals. That's what I want. You know? Scoundrel is basically a rogue type, yeah. Headhunter. Deal 33 damage if target is killed. Gain 22 critical and 2 AP. That's pretty good. Swift kill. Shift to target. Apply 7 vulnerable. Target play. Um, Saboteur. Hair trigger. So you make traps, it looks like. Okay. Rogue. Throwing dagger can deal rage damage. And poisons. Create concealment effect on your current cell. Uh, epidemic. Deal 16... Poison damage plus eight poison damage for every poison skill played by this unit in this battle. That's pretty good, too. Wow. Um, but again, you are like. You're a bleed person. Attack, melee, debuff. debuff. Sanguine Cage, target enemy on a blood pool. Apply 12 chill, apply one brute. Drain 11 HP from target on a blood pool. Sanguine Shatter. I think I want to try him. Because he creates blood pools, and then he heals from them, right? Uh, activates after you apply bleed two times, gain one channel, gain six critical. Activates after you bleed, get fury and guard. Block, recover HP equal to bleed. That's really good. Um, if he has something that can allow for... I think I might either go Blood Mage or Doomsayer. Doomsayer is more spells. Yeah, I'll do Doomsayer. Okay, with yet another adventure on your side, saving Silverkeep might be not be an impossibility after all. But I guess I can't pick who's in... I, I guess I have to, like, pick who's in my party. Uh, Barnaby the Jeweler. Traveler, I see word from the captain about you. Your assistance would be greatly appreciated. I'm a craftsman without his tools, you see. I left them back in my cellar in my rush to find safe haven, as you can imagine. If you were to retrieve them for me, I would gladly be of service to the garrison and yourself. I would look forward to your return. Oh. Uh, greetings, traveler. I'm currently working on a way to restore the waypoints, but I'll need access to the library and its veritable trove of knowledge. Undoubtedly, it'd be overrun with undead now, and it's also an inopportune time for me to leave the garrison at the moment. If you're able to accomplish this, maybe better off yet. Uh, Data's the name. I run the inn here. We have supplies and energy brews to keep you out of venturing longer. Can never have enough of them. If you're inclined to, I can set you up with a bed and board for the night. Sister Ophelia's healing may take care of your wounds, but it's no replacement for a good night's rest. That is true. Yeah. What do we got? Oh, we can chat. We can buy some supplies. Well, then, we have an idea of what we need to do. We're going to replenish our supplies because we're going to need to get out and do something. 
But again, I only have three people here. I want you in the mid row. Um, you I want in front row. Exit then. Okay, what do we got? We've got a couple places that we can kind of need to go to. What is this? Party gains one supplies and recovers health. A uh, clear path through this area. Sharp eyes will shrewd minds will prevail. That's an exploration. Secure the forge. Explanation. Secure the library. Secure Barnaby's tools. So I need to go here going to explore the area. Exploration. You've earned an ex entered exploration. Explorations are an open-ended experience that offer you the chance to survey an area and chart a path through it. We start with a set number of markers, which can be placed on a max distance away from starter marker or last place marker. Objects within range of your place markers will be highlighted, signifying that you will interact with them when traveling to the marker. Use this button to trigger the move. Uh, note that certain elements can move into or out of the range of your markers, so you may want to adjust your path to best fit the situation. When all markers are used up, the exploration ends. Pressure plate trap contains a room, has a shrine, treasure goblin, encounter. So I've got... Go get the treasure goblin. Let me place if not interact with. Catch it to gain a large sum of gold. Grants more gold, less markers you have remaining. Uh, lose 10% of your max HP reveals one random node. Moves randomly if not interacted with. Okay, so yeah, it's moving randomly. And I got all three of those. What does that do? Okay, so that gives me an encounter. My static field. Okay, but it was blue, so I wanted to figure out what exactly that was all about. Again, I have like more people now, but I don't know how to affect them. And where's Rocky? Righteous Blow, I get a channel which will take down Smite. Allow me to do that. Okay, end turn. Create Rock. Create Rock. Quick Barrier. You Rocky guards. So he's not going to do too much damage. I still don't know what those are for. Pivoting slash to death. I got a new. I got another hat. Uh, requires ten dexterity. Hey, guess what? He has ten dexterity, but he it uses intelligence, and I don't want that. Why does she not have enough? Okay, whatever. I will put you there and you'll gain a little bit more. We now have tower shield, which is good. Oh, 
Okay. We took care of that. Let's do this. Continue. Uh, you arrive at June's Forge. The place is in disarray with various smithing paraphernalia scattered across the floor. Uh, we got plate armor and some gold. Okay, so we can triggers an encounter or we can tail them. All heroes attempt to agility check. Base to succeed. Okay, but it doesn't tell me exactly what it it means. I want to add your rifle. To, we want to tail them, I think. I definitely want to use him. Okay, so King Strike will give us a plus five. Pivoting Splash will give us a plus six. I think I want to use that one, though. Zendaya approves. Zendaya and Lucius plus 20, um, I guess, synergy. Let's roll! As long as I don't get a one, I will pass this. All right. So we trailed them. Um, now I guess we have to do a different one. Oh. Could probably use... No, I don't want to use Rocky Shield for that. Okay, so he, yeah, he can't be used again. So it's going to have to be her. Um, I can use Rocky Guard for a plus six. That's the one I'll use. That sucks. Okay, now I've got her. What have I got? Is there anything that she's going to do? I want to keep Righteous Blow. I want to keep Smite. I guess I'm going to use that one. Give me a high number. Okay, good. Okay, uh, prepare some traps and try luring them in instead. All right. Now we're going to take them down. Hurling a pebble down the alley, you hope to draw them in. They take the bait and cautiously approach to investigate. It is a matter of picking an opportune moment to spring the ambush. Hurling your makeshift nets from above, you manage to snag two of them. They tumble to the ground, struggling to break free. You turn your attention to the other two. I probably didn't need to do that. I probably could just kill them outright. But I didn't. Alright, so I, I am going to go ahead and follow through. Have me a couple of deflex. Okay, I can grant you punches, quick barrier, share my guard. Alright, so I do have Rocky Punch. Kill you outright. Okay, so you're going to hit the front two people for seven. I don't need to worry too much about that then. Righteous blow and then smite. Oh, okay, so we do have uh, some more people coming in and reinforcements. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Keen strike. It might be more of a to go ahead and get you. Take you out. There. Scalding sand. You were guarded. Add some more shield out there. What do we got? <coughs> You're dead. Dexterity based challenges. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so I've got a belt now for dexterity-based challenges. I think I probably need to give it to her. Give her that. I, can... I don't think I really want to do that. What do we got? I think I can, I can rest now. 109% uh, increased gold found. Area drops one more item because it's a has an exclamation mark on it, so we're going to go there. Ooh, pivoting slash. Definitely. You can go out. You can go out. You were a mage. I did not want to have to deal with you. There's that. What do we got? We 
do have a meltdown. We're gonna burn you. We're gonna grant you. We've got a barrier. Go back out. Yep. Punch. Punch. You have. Let me shift you down there. Because I'm going to be able to. I'm going to need to hit these guys pretty bad. Okay, so I do have. Um, let me do that. Pivoting slash. Go ahead and kill one. It'll be better than leaving any of them alive. Like, do you have create rock? Got that. And you're basically dead. Yep, you're there. Such a good move. Like, it really is. Hopefully I'll be able to, um, oh, he's 61? What do the T's do? Triggers, All right, I have two triggers on there. I do not have anything really of worthwhile just yet. Right, I'm gonna move you to the front. Move you down there. Rocky can go down there. You can stay there. Okay. Uh, give me toss and Rocky punch. Get me that. I do want to go ahead and grab that right there. You can go there. You can go there. You're now that. Oh, I can't do it because I'm not specifically looking there. That sucks. Okay. Um, you're not going to do any damage that way. Give me that. And you can go there. Shift over there to you. for that. Holy force. Chainmail. Guard from strength and intelligence base and then silk gloves gain intelligence. And she gained a level. Nice. Unlock that node. Give her that. Okay. And actually I wanted to look at Give her that one. I want to give her intelligence based. I want that one. Yeah. Oh wow, it's already already been over an hour. Okay. Oh, there's Bertram. I got a whole bunch of this over here, though. Okay. I want that. I want that. Okay, that's good. We gained some health out of that one. Gained some gold out of that one. 
Hey. Okay, so they're doing whatever. Oh, and now it's giving me something different. Area drops a legendary item. Okay, oh, there's a bat there. What have I got? Pivoting slash. That'd be pretty good. I can't hit there and him in front. I think I want to get rid of that bat, though. That doesn't sound good. Take six more damage from range. Oh, that's all it does? That, that should be fine. Uh, blessed Smash. We got uh, Righteous Blow, which is not going to really help me at all. So we're going to grab you. Grab you. Brings you down. Smite can go in. I'm going to leave you there. Take you. Start to burn you. Quick guard and add to you. That works. Now, what's the legendary item? Just a car's girdle grants perseverance, restores three HP to self and allies in selection for every ally. Okay, that's pretty good. Plus one max HP for every common item equipped. Minus two max HP for non for every non kind of common item equipped. Plus one strength and more gold. That's pretty good. Yeah. Common, common. So I've got one rare. So if I take out you and I give you that. You should give me a lot of HP. Should give me a lot of HP. Okay, what do you need? You need 10 dexterity for that? That's outrageous. Okay, well, I'll give that to you. Okay, what is this? Secure the library. Secure the un uh, Barnaby's tools. Let's go here. You arrive at Barnaby's shop. Bandits have raided the shop in the aftermath of the invasion, leaving nothing but shattered display cases. The door to the cellar remains open, and there's a strong stench of the dead wafting in. Ooh, what do we got? Event. Okay, spot a lever and pulley along the hallway, which holds a ceiling chandelier in place. Several skeletons mill about in the adjacent foyer, unaware of your presence. There might be an opportunity to take them all out with a well-timed pool. So it's a uh, dexterity check. So, yeah, I guess I can do that. I'm going to get rid of Keen Strike. It's not as good as I really want it to be. He actually gained a level, which is good. And we learned, we found something else. So let's go explore. Uh, manage party's welfare via one bonus rest spot. Lingering curse, ornate threat, strong monster encounter. Okay, component locks box. We're going to go there gonna go there it contains a random currency item chest open together with this contain one additional augmented item okay so we've got increased intelligence oh Quit in case you need to take a break thank you can't really use it. And we got a light crossbow and it gives poison and some gold. All right, you gained a level. Now 
I can unload. Uh, leadership focuses on buffing your allies. Uh, yeah, I think I want leadership. Uh, our allies in the same row gain plus one bonus draw at the start of every turn. That's really good. Grant two might to yourself and allies in your row plus two might if in the front row. Moment of courage grants five critical to self and allies in selection for every ally grant three critical to yourself. Um, I think I want call to arms. Yes. Party games. Oh, why don't I do this? That way I get stuff. Camping every five hours, 12 hours. Well, start by soaking the campfire, blah, blah, blah. You can pass an hour by use of the button. Plan your activities as they all have specific time or resource. Okay, that's interesting. Pitch tent. Uh, gain one exhaustion. Helping hand. Bonding time. Salvage. Offer, to, offer a salving service. 10 percent less materials than if visiting a property vendor for the next two. Okay, target here starts the next two battles. Um, field treatment. Okay, pitch tent, forage. I want to get rid of my exhaustion. That's what I want. Oh. Pitching tent. Stoke campfire for remaining hours is five. Warm meal. Remove two exhaustion, find a random item. So I've got um, what do we got? Offer socket crafting. Rest in tent. Recover 25% 20 of max HP per hour. Remove three exhaustion per hour. When completed, remove all exhaustion. How do I know what, what, what I have on my exhaustion? Exhaustion level. So he she might have... She has one exhaustion level. But that's his tent. Okay. Okay. Raider's Ring, Legendary Ring. Become silenced for three rounds on battle start, but plus everything else. Wow, okay. Uh, refill Canteen, so I get more supplies out of it. Get rid of your exhaustion. And then I, I want... SP. So I got some more of those. Now you could, for the next two battles, party gains a buff, granting one might every turn. Yeah. Fervent prayer. Salvage? Not enough time for this activity. Catherine is already okay. Oh, cancel. Okay. Curse of emptiness. All healing received reduced by fifty percent. Fervent prayer is still going on for everybody. Curse of weakness. I do have some curses. That sucks. Okay, so this is, looks to be where I'm going. Now, wait, what, what are you again? You're increased, 7% increased intelligence. Which should be better. You can go there. You're silenced for three rounds. That should be fine. I don't feel like that would be an issue. 
Okay, let's figure it out. Pick one hero to attempt a perception check. Catherine's got a four modifier. Let's just roll it. She got it. Catherine gained 160 experience. A gate amulet and braided cord. Was that it? I guess so. Well, all right, let's go to the secure the library then. Carefully separate the library, rows of bookshelves have been toppled over. Books lay strewn across the floor. You can hear the groan of undead echoing through the chambers further down. Okay, why do you have an arrow, arrow up and you have an arrow down? Party side of the field is trapped. Area contains crates. You are an event. Uh, add a modifier. Oh, area has additional enemy reinforcement. Search the body or send a, say a prayer and move on. Of course. Why wouldn't I do that? Oh. This one has more experience now. Okay. Supply crates. I don't know what happens if I break that down, though. But... Meltdown will allow me to set things aflame. Okay, I need you and you. You're good. Okay. Share my guards. Alright, you're out. You're done. We can shift you up front. There's a pivoting slash there. And a keen strike. Alright, she gained a level now. That's pretty nice. What do I got? Increase initiative. Another stat point. I got a skill point there. Skill rank for cards? I'm going to head that way. Ah, there's another event. You pass by a reading chamber, the door it, uh, to it hangs limply, its hinges melted by either alchemy or magic. Someone has combed through the place with various maps and charts laid across the floor. You wonder for what purpose someone would do this. Perhaps they are still around, somewhere else in the library. I guess I did. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and clear the area. This one, my side's supposedly trapped. I do have some traps. I'm already on top of them for some reason. Create rock does, isn't going to help me. Okay, that is not enough SP. What do we got? Rocky punch. Rocky punch. Grab some guard. Okay, so I do have a pivoting slash, which will allow me to do that and follow through. Grab myself some extra guard, and then I'll keep it. I'll probably lose some life, but it should be okay. You're done. Holy force. Field mend. Cannot play spell cards as. Oh, right, I'm silenced. <laughs> oh, right, I'm not shifted enough. It works for me. More renown. And let's descend. Okay. 
right. Exploration. What have I got? Component locker, Lucius, armor, treasure goblin, ornate chest. Nothing really there. I got some rare crystals. I got a silver ring. And nothing else. Let's go here. Uh, let's check the history room. Chamber source various historical texts describing the early days of silver keeper and knowledge of the ancient Venai Empire. Okay, return to the main floor. It's study rooms. Uh, chill across your spine when you see a dozen dead mages strewn across the floor. Your premonition of doom grows stronger. Check the storeroom. Knowledge check. That is hers. As long as I don't get a one, I pass. Okay, ooh, I gained bottled lightning and stamina vial. Return to the main floor in the cartography room. Oh, as you approach the figure, uh, glances over briefly and you see the rounding remnants of what was once a human face staring back. A second later, his gaze returns to his map, showing a dis dis uh, distinct lack of interest. We're going to advance towards him, cross the rooms to stop him. So we're going to have to have a pretty hefty... Come on, success! So we did it. Okay, the reanimate dead charge at you. So this is a special guy, I guess. Special battle, which should be kind of helpful. Uh, I definitely want to pivot strike to you. Grant you there. Yeah. What do we got? Team shield will work. Grant you there. Definitely want to try and Mega Fist. That's nice. Rocky Punch. I just pretty much waylaid them, like horribly. So I did not really gain too much of anything. But this, an obelisk that will put you back to the entrance. Okay, that works for me. Let's see what I've got. I'm actually really enjoying this. So, mm -hmm. finally, I'll be able to start up the forge, repair the militia oh. weapons. A welcome relief, and here I thought we'd have to resort to our fists. Visit me if you want to enhance your gear as well. You need to provide the additional materials, but I'm sure we'll find out more. Okay, you obtain the following. A citrine amulet some, and some runes. Splendid work. With this, I'll be able to socket any piece of equipment for you if you find the right crafting materials. Okay, items can be, can be socketed. Cool, cool, cool. Click on your inventory now. Click on a rune spot. Okay, three, okay, there we go, and now we have two. Boom, this has got a crap ton. You've got a dexterity bonus. I would like to put you there. All right, Tome of Skill. When red grants one skill point and some magic dust. Hello. I'm glad you have returned. Your, your, this entity you described, it sounded like a Rift Lord. Sorcerers who embraced the use of ancient magic to gain immortality. You've heard of the Venai, I presume. They were a civilization that, that predated us before disappearing centuries ago. All the technology we have today is built upon their achievements. That's why they, that's what they teach the young ones. 
but the Vanai were also avid researchers for the more eldritch forms of magic, spells that involved blood sacrifice and torture. It's likely the Rift Lord is planning something against us, but for what reasons that remains to be seen. I'll send some of the soldiers to recover what we can from the library, and I'll let you know when I have more clarity on the matter. You've been doing good work for helping the garrison. With the pressing issues out of the way, let's begin our counterattack. My men will push out of our safe zone a few blocks further, but we'll need your help with key locations to aid our effort. The city supply warehouse has been overtaken by local gangs. If we had it, we would better be equipped to survive the siege. Also, we need the materials in the warehouse to deal with a breach in our border walls. It's a final step to our plan to save the city. The bandits aren't usually this bold, so I suspect they have the backing of a third party. Be on your guard. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. I'm Pierre, spellbinder from the Citadel. I came here with the intention of performing a field study on the phenomena of the land, and as things stands, it seems I've been given a front row ticket. Your assistance would be appreciated with a particularly troublesome specimen. Okay. Oh, and I guess this is how I pick them. Who I want to come and go. So we're now to discover new artifacts. Artifacts can provide a starting bonus. Okay. Must be equipped. Okay. I don't have any artifacts. Now we do. Blue Dragon Scale. Heroes have plus one cold resist. Let's unlock that one. Salvinger salvaging a legendary pro uh, produces an additional soul spark. Sacred Tooth. Increase Ida's base stats by one. I don't really need that. What do you got? Uh, deadly encounters have 17% chance to drop an additional gold reward. Uh, yeah. I'll take that one. Interesting. But I'm going to end this here. We're about an hour and 32 minutes in, and I've been having a blast. This is awesome. So until then, guys, be kind to each other, and I will see you in the next video.